So this is this is what I would consider my favorite fall lip. It's a dark plum, kind of like a plum burgundy color, and it's safe to wear with no matter what you're wearing. Um, so you could be wearing all black, just like Flo here, or you could be wearing prints, or you could be wearing fur, whatever you're wearing. Um, it usually looks good with everything. Well, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. You don't have to wear eye makeup with it. You don't have to wear foundation. It's just a nice little pop of color for when you're going out. I don't actually use any high-end makeup um, for this look because I wear it so often. I don't wanna spend like $50 on a lipstick that I'm gonna use every day and then it's gonna be done. So what I use is, most of the time I go for Revlon. This is like a $6 lipstick. It's called Wine Not. It's a super <laughs> funny, funny name. Um, and it's a matte lipstick. And it just looks like this. There's many options that you can choose from, from the drugstore, different price ranges. Um, there's also, this one's more of like a red. It's, well, it's called really red but it looks really good if you pair the two together. And then, of course, you need a lip balm. This one's from the dollar store. Like, <laughs> honestly, I don't even care where I buy my makeup. So you don't have to buy crazy expensive lipstick to have really nice, like, fall lips. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Um, first thing I do, I wear a full face of makeup, but for those of you who don't, you don't have to do it this way. But what I like to do is, moisturize my lips okay so I like to moisturize my lips before I start doing any of my other face makeup because having chapped lips and wearing lipstick is not cute let me tell you <laughs> the lining of your lips actually keeps your lipstick in so kind of like if you can imagine like a, a river okay and here's a dam and you don't want the river to go past the dam that that's what <laughs> that is literally what lip liner is it prevents your lipstick from bleeding. You want to choose a lipstick color that's not... You don't want to go too dark for your skin tone or too light for your skin tone. Um, a general rule with concealer, with anything, is to do two shades darker than what you would normally use. You just do a thin layer all over your lips. You want to make sure it's even. So what I like to do, on top of a matte lip, is I'll put a gloss on top. Same, similar color, but it's glossy. There it is. Ta -da. <laughs>